43 Triple Crown events have been won by three-year-olds who contested the Florida Derby. But the $500,000 Grade 1 Florida Derby is more than the foremost preview of the Triple Crown. It is a celebration, a happening, one of those special occasions that is overwhelmingly greater than the individual events that compose the day. Tellier's Thoroughbred Racing Review, for the best of horse racing history on YouTube. Only the Breeders' Cup, which Gulfstream Park again will host in 1992, produces the quality of thoroughbreds seen throughout Florida Derby Day. Five stakes races were run on this program. A visitor could see 1990 Horse of the Year unbridled. Eclipse Award champion, Sprinter Housebuster, Eclipse Award winning jockey, Craig Perrette, and two-year-old champion, Fly So Free, all competing all in one day. In the end, the crowd would see the foremost preview to the Triple Crown, and they would find out if Fly So Free could continue his winning ways or if a new favorite would emerge. A new challenger had stepped up in Jackie Wacky, a local Calder favorite who had crossed the finish line first in nine consecutive races before entering the Florida Derby. Two other strong challengers were the fast improving Strike the Gold and the lightly raced Hansel. Now let's meet the field. Horse number one is Sir Bordeaux, trained by Robert Warren and piloted by John Velez. Number two is Strike the Gold, trained by Nick Zito with Craig Perrette in the irons. Number three is the favorite Fly So Free, trained by Scotty Schulhofer with Jose Santos in the irons. Number four is Man All Right, trained by John Hurtler and ridden by Jorge Vasquez. Number five is Shoot to Kill, trained by Linda Rice and ridden by Jerry Bailey. Number six is Link, trained by Howie Tesher with Angel Cordero Jr. on board. Number seven is Hansel, trained by Frank Brothers, ridden by jockey Pat Day. And rounding out the field is number eight, Jackie Wacky, trained by Buddy Edwards with Herb Castillo in the irons. And that's the field for the 1991 Florida Derby. Post time next. Viewed by a national TV audience, they head to the starting gate for the 40th running of the Florida Derby, appropriately led by Olympic champion Ann Gribbons. Their past victories and defeats were put behind. This was the only race now, and one they would be remembered for. They were all equal in the gate. They're off in the 40th Florida Derby. And out of the center of the track, Shoot to Kill is taken quickly to the front. Man All Right is right alongside with Sir Bordeaux in the rail. Up close to the leader is his fly, Soul Free, Hansel on the outside. Then we come back to Link, Jackie Wacky, and Strike the Gold. They move uh, into the clubhouse turn. On the outside. Shoot to Kill comes on to dictate the pace. Man All Right is alongside second, Sir Bordeaux is between horses, third under a snug hold. Fly So Free is on the outside, fourth, Hansel a link back, fifth. Jackie Wacky is in sixth, link in on the rail. And a strike the gold, the quarter, 22 and four. A good pace as they move up the back stretch. Jerry Bailey with Shoot to Kill, dictating the pace, three parts of a length. Prompting the leader on the outside. Man All Right is alongside second. Sir Bordeaux is third, Hansel inching up on the rail. Fly so free, just uh, two lengths off the leaders on the outside four. These five are bunched. Then we come back to link Jackie Wacky and strike the gold. The half, 46 and four. They move midway on the turn, and there goes the champion, the two-year-old Fly So Free, the Eclipse winner, Jose Sato, striding up to put a head in front, but staying with the uh, Fly So Free, is shoot to kill. Fly so free on the outside, takes command now, shoot to kill second, Hansel third, strike the gold, making a bid from last place and is driving. They turn into the stretch, it's fly so free with the lead, but here comes strike the gold. Craig Perrette surging up on the outside to give the Eclipse winner a battle. They're in deep stretch, it's fly so free digging in, has the lead by a length, holding it safe, fly so free a length. Strike the gold was second, and Hansel third. <laughs> a 
and Fly So Free proved his considerable ability in the Florida Derby to the delight of the fans who made him their favorite. Second place finishers strike the gold would continue to improve dramatically and forge a victory in the Kentucky Derby, while third place finisher Hansel would capture the Preakness in Belmont, thus underscoring the Florida Derby as the foremost preview to the Triple Crown. Gulfstream's chairman of the board, Bertram Firestone, presented the trophy of handcrafted precious metals to owner Thomas Volando. The orchid horseshoe created by Exotic Gardens was raised in tribute to Fly So Free. With the glory and other rewards for each future victory will come heightened expectations and an unending stream of anxious rivals. Such is the challenge of the thoroughbred. the best in historic horse racing action is Thoroughbred Racing Review. Subscribe on YouTube and read the rest of the story on Facebook. Subscribe now.